Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter, and today I'm going to do my February wrap up, March plans. Um, I don't really have any set in stone plans for March. I'm not going to do the challenges I've been doing because I find that since I am like a mood crafter, a mood just everything, that it's been a little difficult sometimes to do the things that I plan to do and it's been making it a little less fun for me at first as with you know whenever you first start doing things it was it was fun and it kind of kept me motivated but now it's just kind of making me not as as willing to work on certain projects I don't know if I'm explaining that well I mean I still want to work on everything it's just I, I start feeling like I need to work on certain ones and then that makes me not want to work on them which is kind of frustrating <laughs> since everything I have is something I actually want to work on if you notice me playing with my nails I just put on these press-ons so they feel a little weird to me since I just put them on and a couple of them I got kind of crooked but they're kind of pretty right they're a little bit longer length than what I'm used to also anyway let's get into it so let me put my glasses on so I can see um, I had planned to average about a thousand stitches a week because I did not quite keep up with everything I don't know if I managed to do that or not um, I wanted to do some more crafting videos from my TikTok. I managed to do that. Not much more, but some um, more cross stitch related YouTube videos I did not really manage to do. So I'm going to try to do more in March. Um, seven new starts. I actually did eight new starts. The cross stitch challenge I did most of and then I fell off towards the end of the month. The whip and sip I did or I did one week of. Um, my February stitching challenge since I did not keep good count. I don't know if I managed to meet the goal on that My big spooky four I did I believe yes um, My year of the dragon I did I think I knocked those out the very first I did I still have not finished that I am Knuff. I have like what one letter left and I put it up and I'm not even sure where it is right now I just never got it out Anyway, let's look at my progress on the pieces I worked on. So I will try to put pictures up of where I was when I started. A lot of these were new starts. So, you know, there's not a whole lot to show. Let's see if I can get this unzipped. So my first one I call Dark Pumpkin. I'll try to put a picture up too in case you can't see this. It's just this little kind of Halloween themed piece. And I wanted to do 400 stitches and I did do 400 stitches. And I just did the black up in this corner. This one I think I will probably pull out again whenever I want some just mindless knitting or knitting sorry stitching and just work more on the black background but like I said I'm not going to make any definite plans for this month I want to try to get back into my groove I really fell out of it um, most of you probably noticed that I haven't been uploading as much diamond painting either I haven't been doing as much diamond painting and to be fair a lot of it's not, it wasn't just trying to do the challenges and stuff. I had a lot of school work and I was working 36 to 48 hours a week on top of full-time school, on top of my stitching, crafting, book talk, YouTube, all that. It just became a little much. So I just kind of fell behind and um, I'm not working, I think, for the next few weeks at least. So I'm going to try to maybe get more stuff recorded and more variety of content out there. Anyway, I'm a little distractible, so I'll keep going. Um, for the O, 
If you didn't know, it was Do What You Love was the acrostic challenge. And those are mostly what I worked on was the project I picked for that. I know this is really scattered. I'm sorry. And um, this one, I chose the Harry Potter. It was also a new start. I really like this image. And I wanted to do 200 stitches and I did 212. I still have a needle with thread in it. I just started up in this corner with the like white or off-white and did a little bit of this dark blue. This is another one I'm going to keep nearby so I can just grab it if I want to work on it. I have several I, I plan to keep on hand like easy to, to grab to work on. There's because some of these I just I want to get more done on so I don't know how much how many projects I'm going to work on in March but I want to put more in on some of them than what I have been okay next is pumpkin witch I wanted to do another 400 stitches on this and she is also in my, my big spooky 4 in 24 um, challenge so I worked on her for two and I wanted to put 400 stitches in and I put 563. Hopefully I'd put a picture up of what she looked like and where I started. And I think I just maybe did a little bit more through here and then some of this dark. It's hard to remember because I did this at the beginning of February and I have slept poorly since then. But I have slept since then. But you can see I just did some of the little confetti stitches and all through here. I don't know if you can see or not, but it's just a little time consuming. I'm surprised I got as many stitches as I did in on her. This is one I just, I really love this image and I hope to get a lot more done on her. I don't plan on having any of these done this year. <laughs> None of these bigger ones, but I do want to make more progress on them than I have been. Um, next. Sorry, everything fell. Was um, Hogwarts Express, which is a bookmark. I wanted to do 200 stitches on it. Let me get it out. There we go. And I did 216. And that's where I got. I really enjoy these little bookmark kits way more than I thought I was going to. And I'm definitely going to be working on this one soon. And I'm thinking maybe the owl one I have. I just, I'm in this mood to start everything that I own. But I also want to work on the things I've already started. And it's kind of contradictory, contradicting each other. I can't talk. But yeah, they're going against each other. Um, a girl stitching. I am still really enjoying this one. Um, I wanted to do 200 stitches on her. And I got 238. I still have not made any, like, easily seen progress really I mean she's a big one and I'm still working on like up here on the curtains so if I do pull her back out I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should like I don't know go to a different section and work on something a little more colorful I don't know she is not on the top of my priorities list right now, so I'm not sure if she will come out again this month. Um, she will be on my not as easily accessible, but still close at hand shelf or tray. I have a little cart now that I'm keeping my kits in. So I'll know where she is if I get an urge, but she's not at the top of my list to work on. Even though I am enjoying working on her. Um, the next was, if I can find her, a woman reading. 
this one I wanted to do 200 stitches and I lost count so many times I gave up. I'm not sure if I made it to 200 stitches or not. If I didn't then I got really close but I didn't I didn't mark it down as completed my goal because like I said I just kept losing count. I know I'd done part through here so this time I picked up more you know just through here. I know I did over a hundred but I'm not sure if I made it to 200. Again it's just not really significant progress on it. I think that's what just makes it not as fun sometimes doing just a few hundred stitches each month on these is just there's no noticeable progress. Not if you're just doing a couple hundred stitches at a time. I'm going to take this needle out before I forget. She is being put away for this month. I have several pillowcase kits. And uh, I don't know, I'm just a little not burnt out on her, but I'm just not feeling it right now. Here is the picture in case I didn't put one up. I love this image so much. It's just I'm not finding joy stitching on it right now, so I'm just going to put her up for this month. Next. The next was the stained glass Zelda. I wanted to put two hours in. I did not touch it. I have not touched this in months. I don't even have it out right now. I will put up a picture. Um, I really need to work on it. It's, it's a present for my husband. He's been waiting for literally years for me to do this, to get this done. And it's going to take me years. And I feel really bad. I just have not been in the mood. It's counted. It's, I finally got some glasses I can see through, so that'll probably help. <laughs> but it's just, it seems so tiny. And I was constantly miscounting, constantly just messing up. So it just got frustrating. So I haven't wanted to touch it. But maybe now that I'm not running back and forth to work and taking stuff with me to work to work on maybe you know sitting here I'll actually put some time into it soon. Alright next was three squirrels outside. They're outside a window and it is oops, everything's falling apart here. Hopefully I have a picture to put up but if not there's a little image and this is a counted and it's on gridded like kind of like an easy count or something. And I just did, let's see, I did 200 exactly, 200 stitches exactly. And I just started this little area. Now this one is super cute. It is an 18 count, so it's kind of tiny. So I could, I could only work on this under a really bright light. Now that I have better glasses, I might pull this out again. Sometimes I've realized, sometimes I really like starting just new counted ones because it's just so clean. I think part of the thing it's been slowing me down to is kind of overwhelming all the colors on a stamped kit, on a stamped canvas. I didn't realize that was an issue, but I think it's my mind frame at the time because sometimes too much almost like it's too chaotic for my brain or something and it just makes me not want to mess with it i've been i mean some of you already know i'm i'm, I'm like clinically depressed or they've called several different things with suicidal tendencies which i don't i don't think i actually have suicidal tendencies but I'm not medicated, so I go through cycles of depression and like hyper focus on stuff sometimes because I'm dealing with the depression, sometimes because I'm not as depressed. I don't know, it's it's a weird thing. And different things affect me differently depending on where I am in my moods. <laughs> and apparently if I'm too too down maybe, then all of the chaos that I'm looking at on these stamped canvases is just too much for me. It's like draining. 
like trying to, it's like my mind is fighting all of these collars that are just trying to like hit me in the face. <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense to anybody, but that is just, oh, I pulled the wrong one out. But that's just how I've been feeling lately. And I didn't even realize this was a thing until the last few weeks, whenever I just, I didn't really work. I, most of the stuff I did, most of the progress I made was the first couple weeks of the month. And after that, it's just, it's like I just gave up. I didn't want to diamond paint. Unless it was something small like a coaster. I didn't want to record anything. I still have some unboxings I have to record. Um, I didn't want to cross stitch. I didn't, I barely want to, I didn't even finish my reading goals. Because I just kind of fell off on reading also. Even listening to audiobooks. I've just been sitting on a couch. Staring at the TV screen. And just losing myself in some... Asian dramas. <laughs> I binged watched two longer ones, Chinese dramas, in the last few days. Like 30 cent hours, 20 cent hours each. If y'all understand, then you understand. If you don't, I don't know how to explain these weird depression cycles and these like hyper fixation, which my husband thinks I'm possibly some kind of ADD or ADHD or something person <laughs> because of the hyper fixation and the lack of focus and just depending on a lot of it's just my moods anyway I will stop talking about so much personal stuff unless that's something you like to hear about I know a lot of the people I follow and engage with they all have their own struggles so maybe it's not bad to talk about it because I know a lot of them will understand what I go through all right this is my Usagi girl she's still one of my favorites um, I've been struggling with her again I think because of this just riot of collars and just, I feel like I'm struggling. Like I'm fighting collars constantly. I wish I could explain it better. But I wanted to do two 700 and 750 stitches on her this month. And I honestly, I have no idea how many I did. I Hopefully I put up a picture where I was. I know I filled in black. And I think some of the cream. And there's like some pinks. And purple is kind of mauves. I don't know what color some of these are, but and I don't know if you can see it because they're they're so similar to some of the other colors on here. I don't know if you can even see. It helps if I hold it so you can kind of see them against the the canvas. I don't know why I call it canvas, the fabric. But um yeah, I worked on pinks and purples. So I know I did quite a bit. I put several hours into it, but I don't know if I got to 750, maybe closer to four or 500. Let's see, it comes out over here too. I worked around her eye and around her, up and down her arm and her hand a little bit. She's another one I'm gonna keep close at hand because I want to keep working on her. I just needed a break. I was getting frustrated because I kept trying to count as I went along and I kept losing count or I'd count the same thing four times and come up with something different each time. And I don't mark off on the chart. So I finally just copied the chart and I'm going to go through and maybe mark off if I want to continue with challenges and maybe start marking off on my working copy so I can actually count. Or start actually setting a timer and just go by amount of time. Because I know roughly how many stitches I average per hour. I say roughly. It's usually about 100 to 150 per hour. Depending on if it's just big blocks of collar or more confetti-like. Or more cross-country type stitching. Alright. Next, I st it was another new start. And this is called Libra. Keep having all these flosses just hanging around. 
Um, this one, I want to do 200 stitches. I did 223. And this one is pretty easy to see because I just worked on this black. And I'm going to probably continue working on this. I find that I take really weird courses whenever because I don't like to just skip over these little single stitches and stuff because then it's so the floss is so thick on the back that it feels like a struggle to do the single stitch so I'll go until I hit one then I'll turn and then I'll you know <laughs> go back and forth anyway I look forward to working on her again once I get back into a stitchy mood. I want to see how she's going to turn out. But I want to do a lot of the dark first because she has a lot of light colors in her. And I find if I do the dark first, I feel like it just the light colors make me happier. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense because honestly, I, I in my other pieces I like to do the light first because if I do the dark first I tend to get little bits of the dark fluff stuck in my threads and then it gets into the light colors and it muddies the light colors but with her I just really want to do the dark first I guess for the contrast I guess that's a better way of saying it just made me happy working on the black first knowing that's going to have a lot of light to work on all right this is the most disjointed video I've ever made, I think. But next, I worked on the two Kiki pieces, and I cannot remember which is which. I forgot to mark down their names. This one, I think, is not it. So this one. Um, the one I called Other Kiki. <laughs> I have a picture up. I wanted to do 200 stitches. I did 214. Just you can't really see that image. It's like they're sitting in a little reading nook. But all I did was work on this quarter. It's like two or three colors of blue. I can't remember exactly if it's two or three. I want to say three because I think it was the pink, the yellow, and the blue. So I think it's three different colors of blue, like a really dark navy, a slightly lighter navy, and then an even lighter one. I don't think there's been any black. Yeah, there's not even black in this piece, so yeah, just three dark blues or three colors of blue. It's just really not wanting to show up well. I actually enjoyed this one working on it, working on those blues. I like to see how the blues work together. So this is another one that's going to stay close at hand. Plus it's Kiki. Kiki makes me happy. And for some reason these sparkly Ada make me happy too. Okay, and then this one I called Kiki with the violet flowers. I can't remember what these are called. Is it called Wisteria or is it, am I thinking of some other kind of flower? Uh, if you know, let me know. This one, I wanted to do 200 stitches. I did 286. This one, actually, I just focused on, again, the top left corner, and it was just a couple greens, and they were going pretty quick. So that was another thing about the challenges. I would get, like, get going on it, and then I'd feel the need to stop once I knew I was... I'd, past my goal because I felt like I needed to go to the next one and I'd much rather just if I'm in the groove just keep going so that is what I plan to do this month and this one I will probably keep close by too because again Kiki he makes me happy and it was stitching up really quick What's funny is I haven't tried stitching in these fake nails. If anybody's missed it, if you haven't seen when I talked about it, I can't remember where I talked about it, if it was here or book talk or what, is I've been getting a lot of these press-ons because for some reason 
my nails are just brittle and they like flake off it's like they peel like layers of them just peel off and i cannot grow my nails i have like a pinky nail that's growing and a index finger nail but all the rest are broke off really short and all my hair is falling out too people baldness is not good for a mood <laughs> It has been stressing me out so much because my hands, my hair is just coming out in handfuls every day. I'm going to my doctor in a couple days and hopefully my um, endocrinologist and hopefully he can figure out what hormone or whatever is off that's causing this. So the last one for my acrostic challenge, but not the last one I worked for, worked on for this month was this um, dragon crystal ball. I wanted to do 400 stitches and I did 500 stitches. Yet another one where I stopped whenever I actually would have kept going because I've been enjoying working on this. And I've just been working on like the dark blue and black. It might be three colors or it might just be two. I don't remember right now. But just working my way down and then starting to expand over into like around his wing i don't know if you can see the colors there you go but yeah i'm enjoying working on this one so he will stay nearby i love dragons and i love this image so I want to keep working on it. I love how his wings look feathery. Not bat wings, but actual feathered wings. I like that. I hope I haven't went too, through these too fast, but at the same time, I hope I haven't went too slow. Because I know I've been rambling a lot and putting a lot of TMI out there for y'all. And most of you probably are like, I could care less. Couldn't care less. Sorry. Alright, so for the Year of the Dragon, I worked on the Dragon Crystal Ball. For my February stitching challenge, I did not meet it. I worked on Usagi Girl for my big spooky four in 2024. I worked on Pumpkin Witch. And then for my Whip and Sip, I worked on um, Kittens. And I only did one week. So I only got 148 stitches in. Hopefully I have a picture up of where I started this month. This is what it's supposed to look like. And then here's where I am now. Whoops, upside down. And I mostly just was working on the browns going up above the cat and the books. Cannot remember if I came down any with them, but as you can tell, I mean, 140 whatever stitches is not a whole lot of progress. This one's really nice to work on. I love the floss. The weird acrylic cotton blend or whatever, or wool acrylic blend it is. It's just really nice to work with for me. I know some people probably don't like it. I would actually like more of these Riolas kits. I have some I haven't started. I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby ever, like years and years ago. Alright, and then one more that I started. It was a new start. I don't even know if I've put the... I don't know if I've uploaded the unboxing video yet for this one. That's funny. I have several unboxing videos that I've been recording, but I have not edited because I need to put all the images and stuff in and get all the links. So those will be coming up soon. So if this one has not been unboxed yet, it will be soon. But it's just a simple, it's a DIY cross stitch. I'm hoping since it's such a simple image, it's just a silhouette that it has enough collars. It won't have stripes through it. To their printer apparently but it's just eight colors and I did not even count how many stitches I put into it and 
I, I don't know what I was doing, but I started it upside down. So I pulled it out and I started it. Didn't even look at the image or the numbers or anything. I just started it and started stitching. And then I realized, hey, it's all upside down. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with it. So. So I know I've done at least, what, 130, 260? Probably 300. Three hundred and sixty. Did I count that right? No. Not three sixty, but still over three hundred stitches in it. This was just randomly decided to start on this black because you know the whole background's black. I'm doing this one for my husband. He's a huge Zelda fan. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. And hopefully he'll like it. And you can frame it if he wants and stick it on his wall in his game room. So that was the only unplanned one for the month. And it felt really nice just to, it feels almost rebellious to uh, break with your plan sometimes. Uh, so much black though. So much dark, so many dark colors this month that I've been working on. So, yeah, eight new starts. And then I did not finish I Am Knuff. My plans for March, like I said, I haven't even written any down. And this is now March 2nd. I will be editing this and uploading it tonight. Um, I'm going to work on hopefully work on some of those that I just showed you and get a little more progress. And then I have some new starts I want to work on. Again, I don't know if all these have been unboxed or not, but I will show you. I'm just going to show you. I want to start this one. Home of the Dwarfs. I want to start... This one. I don't remember what she's called. I want to start my um, Princess Mononoke. I don't know if that's how you say that, but that's how I say it. I think I want to start my little snow lady because it's just so pretty and cheery and it's got all the like spring colors and the flowers. And I want to start the kitty cat lady in the library or the market. I don't know what this is, but anyway, this one. These are the ones I want to start, but I do not have any set plans on when I'm going to start them this month. I don't have any certain days. I have a couple more that I haven't started that I might like to start, but those are the ones that are like sitting on top. There's a top tray on my cart. Those are my, it's like my TBR, it's my TBS to be stitched. Those are the ones, or TBS to be started. Um, I do have some more diamond paintings I plan to work on. Um, I have one I plan to finish for sure. I have some coasters I want to finish. I have one little wooden stand-up one that I'm considering maybe going live and doing, or if not live, maybe doing like a little whip and chat, which I rarely do because I'm weird about talking. I don't know what to talk about. I have a lot of books I've read lately. Maybe I could do another whip and review. But it's cute. It's not going to take very long to do. I still haven't done a live, so I'm not sure. I might do that. Um, but yeah, those are my very flexible 
not planned out plans for March. Um, I haven't even planned. I haven't planned anything for this month because I'm I'm just kind of sick of planning. I have certain books I have to read because I have um, like blog stop on my blog. I have book book tour stops. If you know blog stops planned where I have to review. So I have a couple books I have to read this month and other than that I'm just going to fly by the seat of my pants. I'm going to read what I feel like reading. I'm going to stitch on what I plan you know feel like stitching on if anything and diamond paint. I want to get back to diamond painting more often because I was doing it every day and now I'm not even doing it every single week. So I'll record several days in a row and then go for weeks without and it's just not the way I like doing it. School has kind of taken over my life. I had some horrible classes this semester but I passed them. I just finished them last week and I have a couple grades yet to get but no matter what grade I get on these last assignments I'll still pass so but I messed up my 4.0 GPA and that's did not help my mental health any but I didn't get like D's or F's or anything for my overall grade so it shouldn't drop it too too drastically but yeah so that's my little February wrap up my March plans and I guess a little life update I want to thank you so much if you made it this far uh, maybe consider liking the video if you got any enjoyment out of it um, sharing it if you think there's anybody that might be interested in my content and subscribing if you haven't already because I do try to put out content regularly I've been doing a lot of unboxes unboxes yes unboxing unbagging I have a few more coming and but I'm going to try to get more cross stitch and more diamond painting content in here plus I have um, some little block a little I have it right here. This really cute little building block puzzle thing that I want to do and I'll probably do it on camera so y'all can laugh at me and upload that. I have the little, I keep calling them diorama, I don't know what it is, but the little, it's not a book nook because it's in glass, but yes, a little thing that I have to glue all the little bee pieces together and put it together and I'll try to post that up so I'm going to try to get a little more variety on my channel because I love my YouTube channel I love the people that I interact with on here and I want to keep it going and I want to keep it growing I want to build a community so please consider liking subscribing and sharing um, commenting let me know your thoughts about anything you see in my videos um, feel free to email me I do have my email in my description box so you feel free to email me at any time I do respond and I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.